I am Chelsea Thomas. I played at the University of Missouri as a pitcher, and now I play in the NPF for the UAAA Pride. Um, it was a, a tough decision for me. Um, I have also played Team USA the last two years and uh, had to make the decision whether I wanted to play USA or NPF, and uh, it, was, it was a great decision for me. I was ready to, to see what the NPF had to offer, and I'm really, really happy with my decision. Um, it's been a lot, of, a lot of fun this year. Um, yeah, from, from college to Team USA to the professional level, it's, it seems like the competition keeps getting better and better. Um, the international game is a lot different um, in the ways that different countries play. And moving into the professional, the professional level here in, in the United States, we're playing against some great Olympians that I watched growing up. And it's pretty special to be on, be on teams with such great athletes. Uh, it's crazy. It's absolutely crazy. Um, I have watched Monica Abbott and Kat Osterman growing up, and I, you know, aspired to be them. And uh, now I'm on the same team as Kat Osterman. It's just really surreal to me. You know, I have done a lot of mental training work at the University of Missouri, and I'm actually getting my master's in positive coaching. And it has a lot of um, sports psychology background. So um, I'm very, very positive. I have a lot of positive verbal cues on the mound. Um, you know, you can't overthink things. And I think that's, when you do overthink things, I think that's when you get into trouble. Um, so just, you know, working with your catcher and, and being comfortable throwing what, what they call. And especially in this league, you, they, know, they know the batters pretty well. Um, you know, I would say all the physical things you can do over and over and over, but if you don't have a strong mental background, if you can't get yourself mentally there, the physical side's not going to come through. So the mental side of the game is, is so crucial to being successful. Um, you know, especially for the game of softball, there's so many failures, so many errors, so many strikeouts. A good batting average is 300. That means you get out seven out of 10 times. So dealing with that failure, um, being able to overcome errors because the next play could come to you right away, the game's so fast, just being able to, to get past those failures and see them as opportunities to get better each time, I think that's the most important thing for young kids. Um, I throw somewhere between 68 and 70 usually. What's your favorite pitch? <laughs> um, it really depends on the day. My go-to pitch is my drop ball. Um, when my rise ball's working, I like to use it. When my change-up's on, I use it a lot too. So it depends on the day, mostly. I'm very different than I am off the field than on the field. I'm very serious on the field. Um, communicate in the dugout mostly with our catchers, and we try to, try to get a good plan before we go out. Um, like I said, um, in the MPF, these catchers are veterans, and they know the hitters better than I do, so I trust them a lot, and I think that that's huge. Um, you know, I think sports in general teach you all of the, the great characteristics that you need to succeed in, in your job, in your daily life, um, leadership roles, and perseverance, you know, all, all those great character traits that you need to su be successful in your life. I think that's what sports teach all of young kids. And uh, me especially, I uh, have, have been blessed by the opportunities that I've been given from playing softball.